Hey Orville, welcome back to another Canteraria Bosses Survive. Today we are checking out the Adam Chrome E mod. And we're checking out the Super Titanium Dropper from the mod. As you can see, it does infinity damage. You love when you see that. And let's just see it in action here. We got the dummies. Let's hit the dummies. Boom. Beautiful. It says die too. That's awesome. And as you can see, the dummies are actually at one health. I don't know if we can kill them from here, but they go to one health, which is very, very cool. I believe that's like the main thing about this weapon is that it sets enemies to one health. It's also fairly similar to the other weapon here. Brain cells with C4's dropper. That's a long name, so that's why I'm not going to use that one. <laughs> But uh, I think we're going with the one with the easier name, Super Titanium Dropper, because I think putting brain cells with C4's dropper in the title would not be as good. But yeah, let us get to it. Let's fight the King Sam. I'm honestly interested to see how this works. Okay, that's that's fine. I like how it works then. Let's see the Eye of Cthulhu. Don't run away, please. Thank you. I like the animation. The animation is pretty good. You know, if this is a meme type of mod, then like at least the animations are good. I can get behind when a meme mod puts a little effort in some things. Like this little explosion effect, I really mess with. It's a nice little explosion effect. Might not fit Terraria's style of explosion, but it's still nice. All right, let's see the brain. Let's drop our bombs on the brain here. And I just noticed that it said we killed the queen bee like three times. So maybe infinity damage weapons usually end up killing bosses multiple times. I don't know. I don't remember if that was our last infinity weapon that did that. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I really don't remember at all. Let's take on the eater of worlds though. Come on, bomb this boy. Oh, nice and smooth. Look at that. We got a desert key from Thorium. All right, just because I'm feeling it, let's fight Akram just for fun. <laughs> And of course, we can't forget his friends that come with him. Turkor and Lepus. What's up, guys? And of course, the Dark Mage. We're yet. Boom. I do wish there was a little bit of an explosion sound. Not an annoying one. You know, we, there was a couple mods in the past that would have like really annoying noises that go with a weapon. You know, I would like if there was just at least a sound to at least let me know that I registered a hit. And shout out to the Echoes of Ancients mod. Really littered my world last time I installed it. All right, Wall of Flesh. Boom. I'm interested to see if the weapon actually goes through walls and it kind of does. It really depends. It's kind of like the, uh, the Star Fury, how, you know, it depends. All right, Mech Trio. I'm ready to just drop some bombs on him hopefully he kills all of them there we go i think the weapon low-key homes in a little bit the destroyer somehow died even though he was way over there oh no he was like right underneath us all right here we are in the temple let's see if the bombs go through the wall here yes we're fine i hope I, where did plantera go did Plantera die? Yeah, Plantera did die, but the tentacles are still here. All right, the Duke. What's up, Duke? Let's go ahead. Let's get you out of the way here so we can fight all the random ass bosses. Starting with the Ogre and Betsy, of course. Boom, let's go ahead and get rid of Betsy. I still don't know why, like, why in Cheat Sheet that, like, a lot of bosses don't show up in this area. Like, quote unquote, mini boss or not. Like, a lot of bosses are just kind of missing in here. Like, you can't tell me that Betsy's a mini boss. Betsy doesn't appear in here. So, Cheat Sheet. I don't know. They still have never fixed that ever. Let's take on the Dutchman. He's got a couple of cannons to hit here. Make sure we hit all of them. Let's go ahead and take out the Martian Saucer. Same thing. He's got a couple of parts. Make sure we hit all those parts. We got the Tree Duo and Sand Tank is somewhere behind them. I'm sorry, Sand Tank, that I got to put you behind them like that. But, you know, I noticed that Sand Tank stands still. So why not just throw him in with the rest of the group? Unlike our next couple of bosses here who don't stand still, come back here. I think I have to drop the bombs first and then summon in the boss. Oh, there we go. Perfect. The boys here have been hit by all kinds of weapons, but have they been hit by a titanium bar? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know, actually. But let's hit them with the titanium bar. Oh having a little troubles here let's uh come on just get past it come on almost there there we go oh the weapon itself does like melee damage <laughs> i just noticed that so i could like just stand right here and stab him as soon as he comes alive you don't really see the bar but it does do melee damage it's interesting but yeah let's go ahead speed run the pillars you know how it is i don't even know what this one is boom i'm gonna stab that one fuck it stab this one too while we're at it all right and since they're all dead let's spawn in the dungeon guardian i'm interested to see how the dead oh okay you know i guess while we wait some more might as well fight abyssion right let's go ahead let's summon in all three of them boom i don't know what's more powerful either like the explosions from the bards or like the stab point blank all right i'm gonna drop bombs immediately just to get rid of that top eye 
Okay. I just hit his left hand there. Uh, all right, that's fine. I'll take that. It's faster. Let's take on the Dream Eater. Hit him with the bombs this time. No, let's change it up. Sometimes with the bombs, sometimes with the point blank stab. You know, I think it would personally hurt to get stabbed by an ingot. Just think about it. Like a metal bar and then just jab it into your fucking ribs or something. All right, let's see the mutant here. Hopefully one of the bars hit it. Nice. Oh, it's still alive. Hold up. Gotta hit it again. And because I'm feeling like doing the Ugandan knuckles now, let's do it. Why not? Get him out of here. Whoa, 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 whoa. We not only killed it, but it let me spawn it in without having to throw the item without the spawner item that was weird that was all kinds of weird i don't know when the game decides i need a spawner item or not but it decided right there all right we got dog can we hit dog can we kill dog i'm gonna try and stab its tail or head i don't know hit something do we kill it <laughs> boom there we go now we killed it all right phase two i think i'm gonna just stab it in the face it might be easier to do it that way all right let's fight the idol on worm i have high hopes against the idol on worm boom idol on worm come on Wait, I can't really hit it. It's underneath it. You know, it's fine. It'll, it'll come back around. Come on. Come back around, please. Okay, I'll come over here. How about that? Go for the tail. Go for something. Hit it somewhere. I don't remember if the tail takes damage or not. Boom! We hit it in the head and it's dead. That's beautiful. No better feeling than killing the Eidolon Worm. Well, actually, no. I know a better feeling is killing these next two bosses. All right, Yard. Yard, we actually kill with like a majority of weapons that can't break damage caps because I don't think he falls under the same type of damage caps, if any at all. But there you go. Dead immediately. And then we got some supreme cow where are you she's hiding off camera look at her i have a feeling we might be able to kill sepulcher let's see sepulcher oh my god sepulcher is dead come here come here hit her hit her with a bomb hit her with something make it rain on her oh my god it's so beautiful seeing all the bars of rain on her she dropped her loot so she has to be dead yeah it is that time let us take on ek death i have high hopes here against ek death but let's see in action boom Act death dead, but I also kind of want to stab Act death this time. Oh my god. This this is a strong weapon. This is a really, really strong weapon. It literally defeated everything how I wanted it to. Eidolon Worm included. Is there anything like cool I could fight? Probably not. I definitely don't want to fight any of the Spirit of Purity bosses. I'll be 100% honest here. There is two things from the Adam Chrome mod in terms of uh, bosses. Let's see. It's a giant ingot. It's a dead giant ingot. And then there's another giant ingot. Oh my god, that one killed me in god mode. <laughs> Is it still alive? Oh, it's still alive. Look at it. Oh, where'd it go? I want to kill it. Oh, did I kill it? Yeah, I killed it. Before it killed me, I killed it. And I'm assuming that's actually how you get the titanium dropper. But yeah, there you go. There is the Adam Chrome E mod. Check it out. It's cool. Check out Adam Chrome. Shout out to the developer who made the mod. I'm assuming it's not actually Adam. But yeah, this is, was a great weapon. It was fun to use. I like the explosion effect. I like that you can just walk up and stab people with a titanium in it. Very cool. I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a good one.